Mitsuye Endo had lived in the United States her entire life. She had never visited Japan, nor did she speak Japanese. She worked a government job for the Department of Motor Vehicles in Sacramento, California, while her brother served in the U.S. Army. Yet following the attacks on Pearl Harbor, anti-Japanese sentiment increased until an executive order removed her from her home and imprisoned her in a concentration camp for almost three years. Endo was picked as a test case by attorney James Purcell because she personified what a loyal Japanese American would be. Purcell hoped that he could prove that the government had no legal authority to imprison loyal citizens purely based on racial ancestry. Since they had never met in person, he sent a message to her asking if she would agree to pursue this case. She was hesitant at first, but ultimately agreed, saying that she would do it because it was for the good of everybody. Her attorney promptly arranged for her petition of writ for habeas corpus, meaning that she was unlawfully detained. Purcell used three main reasons to defend Endo's case. First, that she had been deprived of the right to report to work as a state employee. Next, Public Law 503 did not allow the War Relocation Authority to imprison Japanese Americans as they claimed it did. Finally, Purcell argued that the imprisonment of Mitsuye Endo was undeclared martial law because she had not been given due process of law such as a trial, even though the courts had been functioning. When the Supreme Court eventually reviewed the case almost two years later, it did address the issues brought to the court by Purcell, but their main conclusion was that the executive orders which gave the War Relocation Authority its power did not authorize it to hold, quote, concedingly loyal citizens. The court did hold its stance for the previous three cases it ruled against Japanese Americans. They claimed the only difference in this case was that Endo was clearly a loyal, law-abiding citizen. They said the evacuation itself was justified under law, and the so-called internment camps were implied by the executive order as a necessary measure to ensure the successful relocation of the Japanese Americans. They reasoned the agency did indeed have the right to detain citizens in order to, quote, separate the loyal from the disloyal and to provide the necessary guidance for relocation. They also maintained it was necessary to detain citizens even after they were given leave clearance because the interior states did not want them. In short, the Supreme Court ruled that the evacuation was entirely justified, but at the current time, Mitsuye Endo was entitled to unconditional release by the War Relocation Authority, and other concedingly loyal citizens also deserve to be released. The Supreme Court warned President Roosevelt of their decision ahead of time, giving him the chance to announce the closure of the camps before the Supreme Court released its decision. The Supreme Court released its ruling one day after Roosevelt made his announcement.